Hello, welcome to Tony's Bonsai. I went to the garden centre yesterday to pick up some potting grit and I could not resist picking up this dogwood. I've never bought a dogwood before, but I saw this and thought, I have to have it. The name of this is a Cornus Sanguini Midwinter Fire and it cost me £10. These trees are prized for their gorgeous pinky, peachy red stalks in the winter. And this tree, I'm so lucky, it's as if it's already been styled for bonsai, you know. It's already got some nice movement, taper, and today I want to make some initial cuts and wire some of the branches into place. If you saw my olive video a day or two ago, you'll know I often remove at least one or two of the thicker branches on these trees. I quite like both of these lower branches here. I think they could both be used within a composition so I don't want to remove either of these although this branch is thick you know my instinct kind of says remove that but I quite like the structure that this adds but where I definitely need to make a major prune is around this top section where we've got three coming from the same point and I need to do something with that I've pretty much decided that this is going to be the front of my tree here. So I think I have to leave this in place because I don't want a big cut right on the front if possible. That means that I've got two branches at the back and I need to remove one of them. It's not quite easy to show you here, but when I go up the trunk, I've got this nice branch that I'm definitely keeping. So of these two that I want to get rid of, I think this one can be pushed down quite easily. This one can go up, which means that it's this one here that's going to be surplus to requirement. Hopefully I can achieve this with one nice simple cut. And I'm just going to come in here and cut it right back. I, I, I trimmed the branch there by accident, <laughs> but that's not a problem. It's only a small one. I believe these take readily at cuttings at this time of year and with me cutting right in close to the trunk that should be a really nice place for roots to spread from. So I've just got some of my bonsai compost. In she goes. I'll leave that now for six months and see if she sprouts in the spring. Time now to apply some wire. And these two branches are a very similar thickness. So I'll put some wire on those first. That's the tree all wired up. I've used uh, one, two, three, four different pieces of wire, each one a different thickness. And this is the thickest branch that I talked about before. It's got quite a thick wire on it. I don't think I'll be able to get any major movement into this because it, it did feel really brittle. But what I do want to do is just, you know, it's really, that, that's a tough branch. I want to just bend it down and lay it a bit more that way. And now if I could get a bit of movement into it towards the camera, that would be great. See, can I? Oh, it cracked a bit then. Ugh, I don't like that. No, no, I'll have to just leave that as it is. Hopefully that didn't do anything too major to it. You've got to, you've got to try these things to know what the limits are, but that's the limit of that, that branch. But I've got a bit of downward movement a little bit of upward movement there and yeah that's okay as I say it's just fingers crossed that that hasn't done it too much harm but I believe they're quite a tough tree so that's the the largest of the branches moved now these two here I definitely want this one to move more that way so I will be careful with them, bearing in mind what just happened with that thick branch. Don't want to crack all the branches. 
So that's moving nicely. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's that's moved across. That's good. So when they're smaller, they're quite a lot more flexible. If possible, I would like to introduce some sort of lateral movement to it. I think I will be limited what I can do, but I'm thinking if I can just turn it this way and then from there away, I just get that little bit of little bit of movement like that. And it just it's just better than a straight branch. Just makes it more interesting from all the different angles. From this angle now, you can really begin to see all these pink branches spreading out. It's almost like a firework, I think. Uh, and the next job is this branch at the back, the back branch. And again, I want to add some movement to it and position it a bit more into this space. So looking from this higher angle, I think I want to bend the branch down a touch and then turn it round. Yeah, I want to get it down a little more if I can. Yeah, that's good. So I've got it down and then coming up and moving into this area there. And then once it's coming up, hopefully I can just get that branch down. I'm trying to add multiple directions of movement into that branch, just to add interest to it. Looking up at the top of the tree, we've got the main trunk coming upwards, which I have applied some wire to. I don't know if I'll end up even bend it, bother bending that, but there was a spare piece, so I put it on. But it's this, this branch here that I think needs to be moved out into this space and by hmm yeah I'm going to have a go at rotating this whole trunk section which will hopefully bring this branch it'll rotate it round in this direction so if I just try to twist like that there so instead of me trying to bend that branch around using wire on that branch i'm just decided to twist the whole trunk and that's that's done the job nicely it's just brought this branch around into this space and i'm happy with that now that i've done that i can just add a bit of movement to this these move easily because they're nice and young fresh branches so I can get some nice nice sort of movement twists into those I'm really happy with how that worked out by twisting this trunk it has brought this around into this gap I'm just wondering if I can just add a slight bit more twist I don't want to push it too far I don't want to push me luck but just by there I just came around a touch more and that's really filling this space nicely now I'm very happy with that. If you can still make head and a tail of what's going on amongst all these branches, you're doing well. But this back branch is now, because I've rotated this trunk, it really has moved out to the back. I want it to kind of fill this space in here. So I can just bring that there, twist the branch a little. I want to add a bit of movement to it. So there's, there's movement one way, then the other. Branch going up. And that's moved into a really nice spot, that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And finally, we've got this apex of the tree. I like the way this major branch bends over to the right, but I do want it to come a bit more up. So it's a bit more dominant. Even though I've definitely worked as this being the front of this tree in terms of the styling, I've made sure that these branches work from all directions and I do need to put some 
cut paste on that wound where I cut the branch off earlier. That's sealed in now. And, and it looks good whichever direction I'm in. It looks like a, a real tree. And what I won't be doing now is cutting any of these branches back. And the reason I won't be cutting them back is because when I ask myself, what do I want this tree to do now over the next 12 months? I want this to really do well in the spring. I want it to come alive. I want it to grow and accept these new branch positions. I want that wound to heal over. If I've damaged this branch by snapping it, I want that to heal. So the best way for me to let this be vigorous and strong is to leave it to grow. You know, I will do some pruning probably in late spring, perhaps May, June time. I'll clip some of these branches down to control the thickness of the branches that I don't want to thicken. But certainly not something I want to do now. I think that's gone really well. I'm happy with that. It'll be interesting to see it in leaf in the summer. Apparently, they don't look amazing in, in leaf. You really get a tree like this for the winter colour. Because can you just imagine that? as a more mature tree with a full canopy of these red sort of uh, refined twigs. That would just be an amazing, amazing tree. And I'm really looking forward to working on this over the coming years. Obviously, if you want to follow it and see how this gets on, you know what to do. Apart from that, as always, thanks for joining me. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.